Hello everyone. In today's demo, we will explore Fortinet's universal ZTNA solution focusing on securing access to private applications from both managed and unmanaged devices. The demo topology includes a ZTNA application gateway hosting virtual IPs that are mapped to the real server IPs in the data center. The application gateway integrates with 4D client EMS server to get real-time endpoint posture state along with 4D authenticator and an Active Directory server for user authentication. With that, let's look into the 4D client EMS ZTNA configuration. Starting with version 7.4.1, EMS can automatically detect ZTNA applications configured on a 4D gate acting as an application gateway. By navigating to the ZTNA application catalog under the Fabric and Connectors tab, one can view all automatically discovered private applications. The default dashboard view is in the gateway mode, which displays only TCP forwarded access proxy applications. Under the More button, we can select the option to include web applications to get a complete view of all the ZTNA applications detected via the 4D gate. Additionally, we can switch to application view mode that groups all applications as per ZTNA server configuration on the 4D gate. Once ZTNA applications are configured, we can move to endpoint profiles and assign each of these applications to specific profile group so that only authorized users or user groups can view and access these private applications. Now let's look at the security posture tags that we will be working with in this demo. The endpoint compliance tag looks for multiple parameters like the domain, antivirus status, and the device should not have any high or critical vulnerability. If all these conditions hold true, only then an endpoint will receive this tag. Similarly, with vulnerable tag, we can check if an endpoint has a critical vulnerability or not. Moving on to 4D gate, the very first thing that we need to set up is the 4D client EMS connector. It is a two-way webhook to sync real-time endpoint posture status based on the security posture tags for enforcing zero-trust adaptive access controls. All the private applications are configured under the ZTNA tab. Here I have defined a contractor portal to showcase agentless access use case for third-party contractors. As shown in this app configuration, we are expecting user traffic on any internet-facing interface. We have enabled SAML SSO for user authentication. And since this is an unmanaged device, we have also disabled certificate-based device authentication on 4D gate. Moving on, under the security posture tab, we can find all the tags synced from 4D client EMS server to the 4D gate, along with real-time endpoint posture status. As we can see, we have two endpoints that are classified with endpoint compliance tag, whereas one endpoint is tagged as vulnerable. Now, let's review the ZTNA proxy policies to enforce zero-trust adaptive access controls. At the top, I have set up a deny policy that checks for the endpoints with a vulnerable tag and denies access to all configured ZTNA applications. For the agentless access use case, I have configured a policy named contractor access without any ZTNA tags. This policy authenticates the user against the configured SAML SSO server and enforce antivirus, IPS, and DLP security checks. Similarly, for a managed device, 4 gate will prompt for device and user authentication, check for the endpoint tags, and enforce antivirus and IPS security profiles. With that, let's see ZTNA in action. This device is managed by EMS server and has received the required endpoint compliance tag. Now, if I try to browse to 4D Analyzer server, 4D gate will prompt for device authentication and later, as per configured authentication rule, redirect the user to 4D Authenticator acting as SAML IDP for user authentication. Upon successful authentication, user will be able to access 4D Analyzer server console. Moving forward, let's look at SSH use case. Here, I will try to SSH to 4D Manager server. The ZTNA destination rule lists the private IP address of 4D Manager, 
along with the corresponding access proxy virtual IP address on the 40 gate. Let's verify that this internal IP is not reachable from this device. Now when I try to SSH to the same IP, it will match the ZTNA destination rule and 4D client will tunnel the traffic to the mapped VIP IP on the 4D gate. Again upon successful authentication, user will be able to access the 4D manager console. Moving forward, let's take a look at RDP use case. Here I will try to connect to an active directory server using the private IP address. Again, based on the ZTNA destination rule for the RDP access, 4D client will intercept this connection and tunnel it to the mapped virtual IP hosted on the 4D gate. After successful authentication, user will be able to log into the server. Now let's hop on to an unmanaged device. This device does not have 4D client agent installed and now if I try to access the contractor web portal with a publicly resolvable FQDN, you will notice that 4D gate will not prompt for device authentication since we have disabled the client certificate check for this application. User will be redirected for SAML authentication before allowing access to the contractor portal. At last, let's take a look at vulnerable device use case. This device is managed by EMS server and has many high and critical vulnerabilities. As such, it has received a vulnerable tag. Now if I try to browse to any ZTNA application, 4 gate will prompt for device authentication based on the unique certificate issued to the endpoint by EMS server. But this time because of the vulnerable tag, user traffic will match the deny rule and user access will be blocked. We can verify all the user activity under the ZTNA traffic logs on the 4D gate. Here we can select a specific log and click details button to get further information about each of these user sessions like the ZTNA rule, the ZTNA server, detailed information on the endpoint along with the tags that were assigned to the endpoint at the time of the connection request. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.